Uh, Josh, when you take a look at, uh, well, I'm going to call it chaos that was surrounded this team over the last two days, just uh, what can you say about the resiliency of this team and coming in, coming up with four points? I think it's absolutely unbelievable. I think this group is, uh, is like you said, very resilient. They, we came hard. We came committed. Uh, it didn't matter you know, who was out. It was very next man up. We had some great efforts from guys who were coming in on very, very short notice. And uh, overall, it was an incredible game. Our penalty kill was lights out. Our defense played amazing. Our forwards were great. And I think when you just look at the commitment of this team, it's a very good sign for, you know, what's to come in the next coming weeks with the playoffs. I think that that's the sort of jam that you need uh, to be able to go far. What is the key in overtime now? Is it simply possession, or and what happens in this overtime? Uh, in overtime, it's like the wild, wild west. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, guns are flying everywhere, but <laughs> you hope that uh, you're the one who comes out on the winning end. Uh, take us through what, what happens on that final goal. Uh, it was a great back check by Doozy and Stevie. I mean... It, it was a weird play uh, off a drop. They ended up getting a, a decent rush out of it. And just to see the hunger from Alex Steves, uh, that's what separates him. You know, I think there's a lot of stuff that if you're not a hockey fan, you might not notice. But he absolutely hunted back, broke up the play. Joe Duzak right there with him, turns into a two-on-one for me. And, uh, you know, I can't thank those guys enough for the work that they put in on that goal. And it's something that, you know, they might not get as much credit as they should, but uh, I wouldn't have scored without them.